PC prices are absolutely collapsing. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by Ugreen and the Nexode 300 Watt Charger. The Nexode is a high quality USB charging device featuring PD 3.1 hyperfast charging with wide voltage compatibility across five different ports, including four USB C's and one USB A, with the top spot being able to charge up to 140 watts, allowing you to power all your devices at once, like several phones in a laptop or even three full laptops in one spot. Not only that, but despite its massive power output, the Ugreen Nexode Exode is incredibly safe thanks to its high quality touch and fire resistant PVC shell and its automatic protection against overheating, overcharge, or excessive current. Plus, Ugreen is committed to lowering power consumption to reduce emissions and your power bill by using GAN powered integrated circuits, which can reduce carbon emissions by up to 30%. So, if you're interested in picking up a Ugreen Nexode and you want to support the channel, be sure to click the link in the description below. Okay, so guys, this year Black Friday is absolutely insane. This is genuinely the best Black Friday I have ever seen. So you're definitely gonna wanna pay attention to today's video and share this one with your friends. But enough wasting time, let's first start off by talking about monitors. So starting off with some OLED options for you guys because I know a ton of you are very excited to move to OLED. And the great news is prices today are way lower than what they originally launched at. And by the way, I will have Amazon as well as Howell affiliate links in the description below. So if you're interested in any of these products, please go ahead and use those affiliate links. I do get a small kickback off of each purchase, but first starting off with the 34 inch Alienware AW3423DWF. This is actually going for roughly around $800 over on Best Buy right now. And this is just simply a slightly lower refresh rate version of the well-liked AW3423DW. It's a quantum dot OLED monitor. It looks absolutely fantastic, has a glossy finish, and I definitely would highly recommend it at this greatly reduced price. But then moving on to the OLED G8, another option if you're into the quantum dot OLED ultra wides, similar to the last one, except for this time, you do get some smart features as well as a slightly higher refresh rate, bumping it up from 165 to 175 Hertz. So once again, a great monitor and at $900 roughly, Honestly, I'd consider that a great purchase as well. Then we have the OLED G9 non-smart feature version. This you can have for around $1,000. This is potentially one of the best monitors on the market today. It's also 240 Hertz, so this would be a great option for a gaming monitor. And if you want the smart version, they also have that over on Best Buy for around $1,100 after the total tech discount. But let's say you want a W OLED monitor. Well, there's a ton of options there as well. I'm currently in the middle of reviewing this one. This is the KTC 27 inch OLED. OLED. It's 1440p, 240Hz, and after a 10% discount, which I think you need to be an Amazon Prime member to get, and a $250 coupon, which I think anybody can use, this actually brings it down to, I think before tax, around $515. That is way lower than the roughly $900 to $1,000 most of these monitors have been going for. So definitely a really fantastic price on that. We also have an LG version over on Best Buy of this for $780 if you want a name brand version. Then of course there's the Corsair version as well for just a touch higher. Then we have a 42 inch OLED from KTC as well. This thing, honestly, I think after I remove the matte finish, which I probably will be doing with this, could be a really, really excellent option as it potentially might be brighter than the regular C2 or C3. We'll see as well as a higher refresh rate and it is a monitor and not a TV, so that's nice as well. And then we have the LG C3. It is on a significant discount. If you want something glossy out of the box, that's around $900, but it is 120 hertz. Then we have the 45 inch 45GR95QE-B, which is a very immersive monitor. I did really like this when I reviewed it. It's around $1,200 at Best Buy. Then we have the Corsair version of that, which is also 240 hertz. Forgot to mention that on the last one. This one's around $1,300, except for this one, you can actually bend, although I don't think you can base amount it. So that's a decision you're going to have to make. But moving on from WOLED and Quantum.OLED to Mini LED, a ton more options as well. I'm gonna try and rip through these guys because we have a ton of deals. We have this monitor, I'm not gonna even try to pronounce. It's a 
1440p 240Hz Mini LED for just roughly $400. Then we have a 165Hz version from KTC. Then we have after the discounts and coupon code, a 4K mini LED, I believe this one's 576 local dimming zones, which I believe should be true for the last two as well. Uh, this one's actually up to 165 hertz, but again, you're getting 4K, and this should be, I think, around $515 after those coupons as well. So that's a really good price for a 4K resolution, higher refresh rate. Then we have an NOCN version, which you should be able to get for around $600. Then we have a KTC 27 inch version, I think a slightly older one for around $640. Then we have a 32 inch NOCN mini LED 4K 144 Hertz for around $650, not too bad. And then we have what appears to be, I believe a revision two of the KTC M32 P10, which I currently consider to be one of the best mini LED monitors on the market today, is available for around $900, but there is a 10% discount. I think again, only for the Prime members. So that could bring it down to closer to $800. But now we're done with the monitors, let's move on to GPUs. This is gonna be a quick one, guys, because frankly, the GPU market, it's a bit of a mess. There's a couple deals to be had, such as you can get the Intel Arc A580, A750, A770 for pretty good prices right now. If you're looking at entry-level cards, then in the mid-range, we do have the RTX 4070, which continuously has been dropping in prices. Now it's close to $500, I believe, $515 plus a free game. And then of course, there is the ARC 7800 XT, which is still good for around $500, a free game there as well, I believe too. So that's also a good option. And then in the high end, the only real good one I found was the 7900 XT does appear to be available for around $750 now, plus a free game, which is a substantial discount from the original $900. So that there actually could be a good option for you. But now let's move on to something a little bit more exciting, the CPUs, because guys, CPUs are wild right now. I mean, take a look at the 12600KF over on Newegg, $140 flat, that is insane. That is a really, really excellent deal. Highly, highly recommend that. If you want the version with the iGPU, here's a 12600K for $153. I also think that's an excellent deal. Then there's the 12700KF if you wanna move from six P cores to eight P cores. This one is 199 over on Newegg. That is so good, guys. I could not recommend this enough. And it does give you an upgrade path all the way up to like a 14900K if you wanna do that in the future as well. And then we do have the version with the iGPU for $211. That's also really, really good. Then we do have the 7800X3D, which is faster, although more expensive at after a $10 coupon code around $359, so not too bad there either. But now we're done with the CPUs. We gotta talk storage, because guys, every year storage is crazy good on Black Friday, and this year is no exception. I mean, starting off with the one terabyte stuff, we have a Gen 3 Team Group one, and this one comes with a free 32 gigabyte memory card as well for 48 bucks, roughly. That's wild. Then we have a Gen 3 Crucial option for around 54 bucks. That's crazy. Then we have a Samsung 990 Pro Gen 4 option over on Best Buy as well for around 80 bucks. That's pretty dang good, guys. And then we have a Samsung 970 EVO over on Samsung's website, which I do recommend going ahead and clicking and taking a look because although this is a little bit more expensive at around 90 bucks, I do highly recommend taking a look because if you're a AAA member or I think there's some other options as well, if you sign in, you can sometimes get like 30% off I've seen on certain items in the past. So it's worth taking a look at the one terabyte through four terabyte signing in to see how low you can go. But now moving on to the two terabyte stuff, guys. Yep, it's still pretty wild. 78 bucks for a team group option, Gen 3. Then we have a Gen 3 from Crucial for just get this $68 as well. If you're looking to upgrade your storage, now is the time. Do not wait. This is crazy. We got another option here. Gen 4 Samsung 980 Pro for $130, two terabytes. That ain't bad at all. Then we have a Gen 4 SN 850X. I would consider this to be one of the best SSDs on the market and it's 80 bucks. That is just a fantastic deal. And then moving on to the four terabyte stuff, we have a team group Gen 3, which comes with a free 64 gigabyte memory card for $152 roughly. Wild stuff there. Then we have a Gen 3 Crucial, which is coming in over at Best Buy at around $200. And then we have finally a Gen 4 SN 850X, four terabyte Gen 4 by four 
for around $230. Not bad at all. And then if you want something that's even more wild, there are Optane options as well. We have a 1.5 terabyte for around 400 bucks and a 960 gigabyte for around $285. But now let's go ahead and move on to RAM, starting out with DDR4 3200C16 G Skill Ripjaw 5 for around 60 bucks over on Newegg. We also have some Neo Forza Mars for around 75 bucks over on Newegg. And then for 64 gigabytes, we have the Neo Forza Mars for $108. And by the way, this one and the last one are 3600C18. And then we also have the 3200C16 G Skill Ripjaw 5s for $125. So some great deals there. But moving on to DDR5, as I know a lot of people are interested in DDR5 platforms today. We got 32 gigabytes, 6,000 megahertz, C36, G Skill Flare X5, plus another $11 off, $96. That should bring you to around 85 bucks for a good kit of 32 gigabyte DDR5. That is not bad at all. There's also a 6,400 megahertz CL32 G Skill Trident Z5 variant for $110. So you want something a little bit faster, that's good. For 48 gigabytes, we got a 6,000 C40 G Skill Flare X5 48 gigabyte kit for $140. And then we have the 6,400 megahertz C32 G Skill kit for $160. Then moving on to the last one here, guys, 64 gigabytes. And starting off the 6000 C36 G Skill Flare X5 again, $175 for 64 gigabyte kit. That ain't bad at all. Then we have the 6400 megahertz C32 kit from G Skill, which also apparently comes with a free 64 gigabyte micro SD card for $210. So there you have it, guys. Hopefully, this Black Friday deal guide did help you out. If it did, please let me know in the comments below what you decided to purchase. And of course, share this video with your friends who are hunting for deals because I put together what at least I believe could be the best deal list that I've seen online. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think that this Black Friday is truly one of the best we've ever seen? Or do you think that we've seen better in previous years? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.